What's up? It's AK Babyface. Subscribe to Supporting Icons for the latest boxing news. So Andy Ruiz Jr. made his long-awaited return to action in the middle of the ring and he took on Devin Vargas who had a record of 24 wins sorry 20 wins and four losses 24 fights in total and he took that boy out easy style um i was kind of hoping that andrew was, was going to get a couple of rounds in you know to get back in the swing of it but it is what it is he went in there and just got the job done on him now of course he's been out of the ring for quite a while the last time he was in the ring was december 2016 so you're talking what 14 15 months since he was last in the ring and that was for his wbo world heavyweight title shot for the vacant title at, at that time between himself and joseph parker of which of course he lost by majority decision in a very very close fight some people even had andy ruiz winning that fight right but either way he's taken a bit of time off to try and gather himself and kind of see what it is that he wants to do with, with his career he's um been working uh, out a lot um i've spoken to him on a couple of occasions now and he's dropping the weight he's dropping a bit of timber now he's got the bit between his teeth and he wants to get back into title contention at some point sooner rather than later of course he's 28 years old he's from america and very very highly regarded if you like now he's not the tallest guy at heavyweight he's only five foot ten so he's, he's certainly not the biggest guy in the world but he's mobile for a big lad because he um he has been carrying a fair bit of timber but he's very very mobile very zippy and uh, does have a fair bit of power behind him based on the fact that prior to this one his 29 wins he actually knocked out 19 of his opponents so that will probably give you a pretty good indication so either way he went over over there which was on the valdez quig undercard and just done a job on Devin Vargas. Like I said, I kind of hoped that he was going to go at least two or three rounds just to get back into it, but clearly he felt he didn't need to. He's been doing like a lot of sparring, a lot of work, a lot of cardio and that as well. So yeah, very, very good to see him back and hopefully we get to see him out again real soon in some bigger fights. Obviously, um, a lot of people would love to see him take on um, the likes of Chris Ariola and which for me, Andy Ruiz gets through him without any real issues. And then maybe move on to some higher level ones, if you like, and we'll see where he is and all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, drop your thoughts below. Andy Ruiz Jr. makes his long awaited comeback in emphatic fashion with a first round knockout. So drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch your next video.